Hello everyone. This is puzzle number 66. It's a hard puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 105 by Soap Opera Digest. And I've already solved this puzzle in the previous video. This Sudoku Primer video is an answer sheet to the pop quiz that was in the previous video, Sudoku Primer video number 89. Uh, in that previous video I, I just filled in numbers without explaining why so that you could see if you could follow along and see if you understood why each, um, each number went where it went. And this, in this video I'm going to follow that same sequence and I'm going to uh, explain why he, I placed each number as I did it in the previous video. So let me get started. Oh, uh, and before I get started, I wanted to ask um, you who are watching this if you'd be willing to place a comment uh, to let me know whether you like these pop quizzes and these answer sheets. Uh, let me know what you think, whether you like them or you don't like them. Um, and let me know whether you like the answer sheets, whether that helps or not, uh, whether they're helpful or not helpful. So please leave a comment. Uh, let me know those things. That would help me to understand whether I should continue doing these. All right, well, let's get going. Um, the first few are going to be pretty easy because uh, there's a a bunch of numbers in here that are pretty easy to place. Okay, we have a 3 here and a 3 here and a 3 here, so that 3 goes there. We have a 6 already in these two rows, so that's a 6. Same with this 4 here. We've got a 4 and a 4 in these two rows already. place to 7 here and that's because we have an offset pattern here with a 6 and a 7 in this middle column there's already a 6 in the box but there, and there's a 7 here so we know that's a 7 and now this next 7 this this 7 here is a little bit trickier um, we have a 7 here we have a 7 here We've got ghost sevens here, so we know seven ghost sevens and a seven there. We know that number goes there. And now we'll just fill in, we'll kind of cascade through and, and uh, fill in the rest of the sevens. We've got a seven there because we have sevens there already, so we know that's a seven. And then we've got seven here and seven here. We had those ghost sevens, but we know now that this is a seven because of that seven. This is a seven because there's seven there, seven there, seven there. And that's a seven because we got a seven there, seven there, seven, seven there. six there because of these two sixes. Very straightforward. Same for that one. And six is here, so that's a six. Okay, now this is a little bit trickier. Got a one and a two there. How did we know that's a 1 and 2? Well, let's look at this column here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 5, 8, and 9 missing. But we have an 8 and 9 in this box already, so we know that these have to be 4 and 5. Therefore, we, so we have 4, 5 twins there, and therefore we have 8, 9 twins here. 
So if we these are four five twins, there are only two numbers left, and they're one and two, and there's a one there, so we know that's a two, that's a one. Now put a three there again, very straightforward because of these two threes. That three is because of this one and this one. And that three is because we have a three here and a three here and a three here. <coughs> Okay, this 4 goes there because of this 4. That 4 goes there because we've got 4s in row 1 and row 3 of this section already. So that's a 4. Okay, that's a 5 and we know that because we've got a 5 here already in this row. So one of these two has to be 5 and if you remember we have four five twins, eight nine twins here, so that can't be a five. And so the five goes there. Okay, now we're going to fill in those two numbers and those two numbers. Let's see. Eight and nine were the only two numbers missing in this box. So we've got a one two nine uh, one two nine triplets here, so we know this couldn't be an, a nine, so that had to be the eight. And then <clears throat> these are the eight nine twins we found with the four five twins, and then these were eight and nine also. So another way we could have found these eight and nine numbers here is we've got two and five. They're the only two numbers missing in this column. So we knew this was an 8 and a 9 here. Uh, so with this 9, we knew that's an 8. With that 8, we know that's a 9. OK, that 9 goes there because of these two 9s. And got an 8 here because we've got an 8 there, 8 there, 8 there. Eight here because we've got an eight and an eight there, so that's an eight. Okay, these are the only two eights that are left. They could have been here and here. How did we know the eight fit here? Well, we've got we only had three numbers left in this row. Let's see, one, two, three. 8, 9. So these were 1, 3, and 8. We've got a 1 and a 3 here, so we knew that was an 8. And therefore, this 8 had to go here because it couldn't fit there. All right. Then we got a 1 here. How'd we get that 1? Well, I've got a 1 and a 1 here, so one of these two has to be a 1. I've got a 1 here. We've got ghost ones here, so one of these two has to be a 1. And this with d double column elimination, we know that that's a 1 right there. Another way to look at that is we can't have a 1 here because that's a 1. And we can't have a 1 here because we have ghost ones here. And we know this is a 2 because there's 2 and 9. 2 and 9 are the only two numbers missing in this column. And there's a 9 there. So we can fill that 9 in also. And then these two are very straightforward. We had 2 and 9 left after we filled in this 1. And we got a 9 here and a 2 here. Now this 2 and 5 that we knew about earlier, we can solve those now. And how can we do that? Well, we've got one, 
1 and 5 here, 1, 5 twins, so we knew that couldn't be a 5, so that had to be the 2, and that was the 5. As you can see, uh, some of these numbers were, are harder until you fill in other numbers. Like in this case, we got a 3 and a 3 here and a 3 there. We knew one of these had to be a 3, but then once we got the 8 in, 8 in here, we, we could fill that in. And then we have 1 and 3 left here. So we know that's a 1 because there's a 3 there already. See, well, we know that is a 1 because of these 1s. We knew we had 1 5s here. And uh, we'll fill in the 5, and then the only number left is a 2. Okay. Got a 2 there because that's the only number left here in this column. Now we can fill in the 2 in, in box 5 here, because we've got a 2 and a 2, and a 2 there. And we know this is a 5, because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 and 9 missing there, and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's, it's this way, <laughs> we've got 4 and 5 missing, and we have a 4 there, okay, so that's a 5, and we know this is a 4, because we have 4 and 5 uh, twins in this row, the only two numbers left, and we had 4 and 5 in this column, and in this box, so we know that's 5 because of this 4. Now we know this is a 9 because of the, uh, it's the only number missing in this column. And, um, here we've only got four and, 4 and 9 missing. There's a 9 there. So it's 4 and 9. And now we've got 1, 5, and 6 here, and 1, 5 here. Oh, I'm sorry, not 1, 5, 1, 4, and 5 here. We've got a 4 there and a 4 there, so we know that's a 4. And now we got 1, 5 left, there's a 1 there, so we can fill those in, and now we can fill these in with these numbers. We know what those numbers are. And now we've got a 5 missing here as the last, the last number. Okay. Well, I hope that helped. Um, if you watched the previous video and struggled with it a little bit, uh, this answer sheet should give you all the answers you need to uh, know why each number was placed. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, there is one more um, we have done a in volume 105 of Sudoku to go uh, we've done a easy medium and hard puzzle now so we've got a diabolical puzzle that we need still need to solve and so that will probably be the very next video that's that comes out thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video